Hi guys, welcome to the course. My name is Shantanu Das and I will be leading you through this course. This is TOGAF level 2, the certified exam of TOGAF and the final level of TOGAF. To introduce myself, I am an enterprise architect working for a large organization. I started my career as a software developer and eventually transitioned as a software architect and later as a solution architect and from past 11 years I am working as an enterprise architect. How I have configured this course is first I will tell you about the TOGA part 2 examination and what is that covered in that examination. Okay. Now the part 2 examination has been classified into eight different sections okay the first section talks about the ADM phases the second section talks about the BCD that is business architecture information architecture and the technology architecture the third level talks about E and F opportunity and solutions and migration planning and phases G and H is about the governance and architecture change management now adapting the ADM is another key thing which you have to learn and apply here the architecture content framework is again what you will be applying in the level 2 exam the TOGAF reference model and the architecture capability framework now in this TOGAF level 2 exam what you have to do is whatever you have learned in level 1 say for example the ADM phases whatever phases you see in the left hand side the four sections whatever you have learned you need to apply those how you will be applying you will be applying by adapting the ADM by implementing the architecture content framework which will be a reference to your ADM the TOGAF reference model and the architecture capability framework right now learning this just by reading will be a problem the reading through it it does not just make sense to read through what is what what is um, and how to apply doesn't make sense to me so what I thought about was uh, let me uh, take a different path I have uh, depicted a case study which I have already shown in the level one and then we will go one by one step by step and start solving that problem okay and it will be only one iteration which I will be covering in this course but that iteration will be good enough so what I meant by this is uh, before I go anywhere first let me show you what are the conformance requirement the conformance requirement talk about around 27 units in level 2 so level 2 conformance requirements uh, talks about around 27 units where you start with preliminary governance business scenario techniques architecture vision content framework stakeholder management to have content model implementation support techniques business architecture information system architecture and then technology architecture technical reference model infrastructure reference model and then migration planning techniques migration um, uh, after the migration it is opportunity and solutions then migration planning implementation governance the architecture change management requirement management architecture partitioning repository the ADM iterations level security so you can understand that uh, it is a huge syllabus where you really need to apply those whatever you have been learning in level one so it does not make sense me to say uh, okay you just look into a viewpoint or you just look into a SOA so what I thought was let me apply those through a particular use case and show you at least one level of iteration how to solve that problem now if you know one level so let me show you say for example you want to do a data architecture if I don't show you the data architecture if I don't show you what you are going to do in the data architecture phase or information system architecture phase it does not make sense so that is why uh, if I talk about interoperability requirement do you really need to uh, see what interoperability is that I have already explained in level one I want to show you what exactly interoperability does I want to show you a data lifecycle view I want to show you a data security view I want to show you the gap analysis result how the target application architecture will look like 
whether your application architecture uh, can handle what Togaf is telling, how you apply those in your level. So uh, that is what if I talk about user location view, if I don't show you what user location view is doing, you will not understand. If I show you information architecture in general, you will not able to connect unless you see that. So that is what I will be showing you. Let me give you another example and the technology architecture what I'm going to cover. Okay. This is a technology architecture and let me go to the slideshow and show you what I'm going to cover in the technology architecture. I'm going to talk about the input, the baselines, the deployment diagrams, the viewpoints. So if you see a viewpoint and then understand what viewpoint is exactly or how the views are covering, what are the stakeholder concern, unless you see that it will be really difficult for you to connect to GAF. So that is the primary objective of this course. And uh, if you really want to learn and not only pass TOGAF, passing TOGAF is uh, not a problem. At the same time, after passing TOGAF, you really need to apply your enterprise learning, isn't it? So to apply those, I will suggest you please go through my course and start reading every items what I have given you and then connect it with your study guide. It will be very, very easy for you to learn TOGAF. So, in a nutshell, I will say you uh, while you are reading or going through this course, take that scenario in mind. I have given all the depiction of this uh, scenario, how to look into that, what to look into. And then step by step, we will apply to GAF. We will build our architecture repository. We will see the architecture building blocks. We will see how to build the solution building blocks, how to reach from baseline to the target architecture. And finally, in the migration planning, we will be implementing, start implementing those. And when I say this, I am showing you one iteration and you are presenting this to the architecture board as well as to the use case um, CIO okay in the, my use case there is a CIO whose name is Andrew and we are going to show or do a presentation to this end of this course but in this whole course what you will learn out of it is uh, very important and you will be able to apply to GAF in the real world and not just passing TOGAF is the objective of the course. Passing TOGAF is of course one of the primary objective of this course. But at the same time, after passing TOGAF, you to become an enterprise architect, this will be really helpful. Just go through the course previews. I have kept the previews at the agenda in different section. What I'm going to cover, please look through the course and then we will start applying those. And thank you and hope to see you inside the course.